want to know where I am, my guys, today. Welcome so much to the channel. Oh my god, just look around, look around, and you know where I am. But oh, I'm so excited, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for sharing the links, guys. Thank you for making the channel grow bigger and better, guys. Today, I came to visit my cousin's farm. Oh my god, I am so impressed. I am so. I am so, I don't know, I don't know which word would say it best, but I really, really feel like becoming a farmer, like a bigger and better farmer right now. You know, I do some garden work, but oh my, if you look at this place, you feel inspired. This is a young brain behind this thing, guys. You will not even be, I'm actually older than him. I feel ashamed. <laughs> I must say, it. I feel ashamed that my younger cousin is doing something. So, I don't know, it's so impressive. Don't you like it? Meanwhile, hey guys, today I want to show you around his farm. It's a very pretty cool place called meanwhile because it's near the uh, water place as you, as you can see the channels of water going through the farm but majorly here guys it is agriculture it is farming it is whole it is you just know it, life rotates about that it is the whole the seeds the garden the harvesting i don't know it's just around that but i'm pretty sure he enjoys this place so much guys first come with me and just see just take a look around this place this right here let me start off from here this is maize um this is maize it's actually mature maize already it's ready to be harvested so this is what happens they first cut off the tip as you can see and leave it to dry from the farm for some time before they can pick it and take it home for further processing and then this right here guys um come 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 you're sure you're going to love this tour today come with me so be careful okay all right so right here on my left, all these portions, as you can see, anything, you, you might be seeing them like grasses, but those are not grasses, guys. That is rice. Are you a rice lover like I am? If you are, then oh, here's the right place to be for you guys. This is rice. They've just planted it. So it has just started picking up. And I'm very sure um, it's a few months from now I'm coming back here to pick free rice. <laughs> Because, oh my god, this place looks very, very, very lovely, guys. So he just partitions it like this because this place is surely waterlogged, I can say. But as you know, rice also needs a lot of water. So I'm pretty sure it's doing the right crop at the right place. So he part partitions them like this for the water to go through the, um, the farm. Yeah, so in case of any excessive water, it flows through in those drainage. And then uh, just enough gets onto the farm, I mean, for, for, for the crops. And then as you can see, a lot of fruits as well. This, shortly from now, we shall be picking free fruits, free rice, free maize, like everything free. <laughs> Please come and we check out more. <laughs> and then right here, guys, I wanted to show you another tree. This is how uh, a jackfruit looks like, a tree for a jackfruit looks like. I hope you can differentiate it. The first one we saw was an avocado then this right here is a jackfruit tree i don't know how you guys call it but for us we call it fene in my local language i don't even i'm pretty sure some some of you don't even have it in a local language but i'm proud that i have one it is called fene so guys this is a fene tree in other words and then right here is just a mango tree it's a grafted one as you can see it's pretty short not a huge one and then yeah this is also a mango tree and then yeah this is maize not yet dry as these ones as you can notice actually this we can still eat it like you can still boil or roast yeah and it can still be eaten and then right on my extreme uh, right yeah you can see some shiny kind of a shelter i don't know if you're able to see but that right there yes that one that shiny shelter is um it's like a place for um, if you're in the farm you can't either check your bath there that right there is at the extreme that is the purpose Meanwhile, beyond that, there are some crops beyond, I don't know if you're able to see the, beyond the maize, but also, that's the continuation for the farm, there are some bananas behind there, and more maize as well, and then let's go right ahead here, I'm going to be, I'm going to need to remove this because it's not very easy to pass through this.
so guys where we are heading is where something so sweet there is always i don't know i've actually noticed where whenever someone is comparing something to a sweet some i don't know how to say but it is always compared against this thing that we're going to see yeah whenever you're going to say something sweet you always compare it against what we are going to see so guys come with me if you want to see So then it's right here as you can see these are bananas yeah and then right there those are mango trees and then yeah here also there are some crops they've planted yeah they've just planted here rice it has not yet picked up like the the first part where we saw so i think they planted he planted this last year so let's go there's something i really want to show you come <laughs> and one two three here we are they don't need noise though <laughs> I don't have to shout but i'm too excited as well so like i told you whenever you want to say something sweet you always compare it against honey so you'd say as sweet as honey you understand so right here guys we are at uh, the source of honey we are in other words we are the source of money like i told you he's just in money like this cousin of mine inspires me a lot i feel like i don't i feel like i'm not using myself a lot because like i told you he's really young i'm actually going to show you him at the, at the end of this video so just if you want to know the person behind all these in, uh, initiatives here, all this creativity here, guys, I'm surely going to show you at the end of this video. Make sure you watch this video to the end. If you're able to see, just, just come and I show these guys what creativity I'm talking about here, yeah? If you're able to notice, this is a, an old flower pot, yeah? But he made a beehive out of it. An old flower pot, but he has made it a beehive. You understand? He does not throw things. He does not waste. Yeah? If you're able to notice, um, this right here, yeah, that is also another fire. This is the, the usual way we always make hives. Yeah, these are be, uh, these are wood logs. We cut them and then in the in the middle we cave them in. So this is the normal, the usual that everyone, the way that everyone knows. But these other ones, oh, they've beaten me hands up. I must admit he is so creative. He's, I don't know, he's just not a wasted kind of a person. So guys, I am so, I am so impressed. I am so, I don't know, I am so inspired. Like I, I, I think I, before I leave his place, I am surely going to pick up a few things here and there. And yeah, surely I want to make myself better. Because I cannot come to such a place and I just go back home like, i mean like i didn't come here i mean what would i have gained so i surely have to learn something from this guy otherwise that was it for the farm tour i don't know if there's anything that you saw on this farm that is familiar to you so guys i don't know if you have seen anything new here and you have learned like i did i mean i i was just swept off my feet when i just you know it had actually been a while because he kept telling me you you have to come to my farm you have to visit me because he stays just here at the farm and i'm surely going to take you to his place so guys make sure that you watch actually catch my next video as well because um, my next video i'm going to show you the brain behind this whole beautiful organized farm here yeah otherwise thanks a lot for watching thank you for sharing please go ahead and subscribe if you're new if you're not Continue sharing the links like you have always done. You make me so proud. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you catch the next video because you're going to see the guy behind this thing. Bye-bye.